we are going to be scraping some hot curb ceilings. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to do it. So I have my sprayer here full of water and we're going to go through and just spray to get it wet so it's easier to scrape off so you're not scraping off hard texture. So you can just go around, spray it all with water, get it really wet. Let that sit for about five to ten minutes so it can soak in and then we're going to scrape them off. Okay, so after you have went around and sprayed all your ceilings, got them very wet, you're going to take a scraper and it should just start coming right off. And you just work your way around the room. What's going on? So Kendall just showed you how to scrape the popcorn ceilings in there. And I'm gonna show you how to texture. And sometimes, you know, whenever it, it takes a few tries to get it down, but I'll show you the skip trowel, which is on the ceiling right up here. So we buy this all-purpose bucket mud up there. And what you have to do is you have to add water to it and thin it out. So you want it kind of soupy. So I'll go through and I'll mix it real quick. You know, and I already put water in there, but you can see how how it is that, that soupy consistency in there. So, then we have a bucket full of water and a sponge so we can keep our things clean. Get your trowel out, a 12 inch trowel, and then a little trowel pan. Get this out of here. See how that consistency just like that is the, the way I, I like it. So ceilings are a little bit harder than walls, definitely because you're going up. Some guys can walk on stilts. Obviously, I'm not that skilled yet, so I'm not doing that. Go step stool. Yeah. Whatever. So all I do is I put a little bit on my 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 trowel and I get it out there. And if I see any nail holes, this ceiling, you know, everything's already all taped and stuff because we just scraped it, so it's all already smooth. So I'm not going to do a whole full skim coat on this. All I'm going to do is get it back on my trowel just a little bit. Put my finger, index finger right here, hold it like this, and I'm gonna let it skip, just like that. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll go back over here and let it skip across. And like I said, I'm not putting very much on there, so I'm gonna, just like this. Cause that gives it the texture look. Yeah, you give you that skip trowel look, that smooth finish, so it's not, real choppy and then it, it also gives it I think a little bit classier look. So you can just keep what you want to do is don't let it do a big edge like it just did. Then I'll go back and I can smooth it just a little bit lighter. Just give it a little bit of texture in some spots. And some people like it different. Some people like it where it's thicker and we can do all that, make it a thicker skip trowel, but I like doing it this way because we always like a smooth texture look here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. <laughs>
Nice. So that's it. You just keep running through there and keep going back and forth. So don't just keep going one direction because you're going to be able to tell. So I'll go back towards all this stuff like this way and then I'll, I'll change it up every, every direction which way it goes. So that's it. Pretty simple. Cool. So one thing I'm doing inside here, I'm grabbing it and I'm pushing it to the side. So I'm not getting very much on there, just like I showed you earlier. And when you're running it too, like I said, you change the, the direction of everything. You can see there's a little bitty uh, scratch marks or lines, whatever you wanna call it, like right here. I can either, either go back through and smooth those out, you know, where your angle and your trowel, like whenever it's running, or what we do sometimes too is we'll go back with a little sander after it's dry the next day and grab a little sander and just scrape off those lines and it just makes it smooth as possible all the way through. That's the easiest way. So that's it.